Okay, so I put this video together specifically for those of you out there either licensed or thinking about getting licensed who are considering joining Senior Life Insurance Company based out of Thomasville, Georgia. This video is intended just to give you some perspective. It's not a, a, a critique at all of Senior Life Services in any, in any specific way, but really the purpose of it is just to help you decide if joining a company like Senior Life Services or Senior Life uh, Insurance Company out of Thomasville, Georgia is really a good fit for you. My name is David DeFord, owner of DeFord Insurance Group. I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. So again, the purpose of this video is to help you new agents out there understand if you're truly a good fit for a Senior Life Insurance Company type of final expense sales position. And to give you some advice on what I would do if I was in your situation to determine if that really is the case that you are in a, uh, in a good position where you're uh, a good fit. So the first thing that I would do is question the experience of the agency or the manager bringing you on. Again, just a general kind of perspective, nothing specific laid here by about senior life insurance company is that with uh, the insurance sales business, there's a heavy multi-level marketing influence. There's a heavy push in many organizations to recruit over a heavy push to help you become a top producer. This invariably leads to the high failure rate in the insurance business at large. And what happens is you can easily become another statistic, another number of the many that fail out of this business every year. And we're talking more than 90% of new agents fail within the first year is uh, kind of what the stats say. So how do you know if you're uh, gonna join an organization that's focused on um, uh, recruiting over producing. Well, ask your manager. Um, go to the opportunity meetings. What do they talk about? Did they talk more about the uh, recruiting opportunity the or the sales opportunity? Do they uh, teach you tactics specifically to help clients buy from you? Or do they show off their 1099s or their Ferraris and all that nonsense? Usually when they do the latter, uh, that typically means that they're over obsessed with uh, recruiting and you're likely not going to get the most optimal environment to become a producer. So, uh, and then decide for yourself, what is it that you want to accomplish? Do you want to be a producer? Do you want to be a recruiter? Ultimately, your goal is to find an affinity towards an organization that best matches you. So to build on this, on the next point here, it's kind of an extension. Also make sure you want to have an agent who is actually, or manager is actually experienced in this business. Again, because there's such a big MLM, uh, multi-level marketing recruitment influence in this business, a lot of the recruiters out there that train you have no experience. It's crazy. I can't tell you of all the people I've talked to since 2013 recruiting into my own agency, how many told me, man, I was talking to so-and-so agency and I got recruited and this person never sold a single policy. And then now they're talking to me because they didn't get that important training development that makes the difference. So how do you know if they have been successful? Ask them. Any experienced agent will be happy to tell you about their experience. Anybody with no experience will make uh, excuses for it. Oh, well, you know, you'll be plugged into a conference call or, oh, there's videos. Um, and they'll kind of walk around trying to directly answer that because they know that you're kind of on their tail about <laughs> the way it goes. So bottom line, find an organization uh, even within senior life, as we talk about, where the recruiter is actually experienced, where they can show you how to do this business, not just like, uh, you know, recruit. It's not good enough just to recruit. Another thing I would ask about, which you may or may not get, is, is to do a ride along. Uh, if you're unsure if even selling final expense, much less working for senior life is a good fit, ask to see if you can go see a day in the field with an agent uh, or, or sit in on a telesales call session. Uh, that might dispel a lot of concern of figuring out if this business is right for you or not just by seeing it. I remember having one guy do a ride along with me and he was like, Dave, thank you so much. This isn't for me. <laughs> I thought, wow, you know, you flew all the way down here to do ride along with me and you're not going to do it. Okay. Well, I guess you saved a lot of time and money, so better to find out now than later. But in all seriousness, what ride alongs do, if anything, is give you more enthusiasm because you see that this business isn't that complex. It's simple and it gives you more perspective on how to be successful. So again, ask for a ride along if you can, and sometimes they'll do it, sometimes they won't. Um, also, um, make sure you learn more about the actual culture of the, the specific group you're gonna join. So Senior Life is a big company. Uh, they're very successful, they do good work, but they've got regional offices and regional people underneath them that may have different 
uh, organizational values in their culture that are that differ from others. Some may be more concerned about recruiting. Others may be more concerned about producing. And again, this goes back to what do you want? Uh, question and see what that regional office is all about. Um, this is a commonality among all kind of structures like this. It's not so much of the mothership, the main company. It's what is that 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 agency you're joining offer you, and 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 does it fit to what it is that you're looking to accomplish? The last thing I'll mention here <clears throat> is ask about um, releases, vesting, and then also non-competes. Uh, releases aren't going to be a big deal because senior life is um, you're not going to. It's not an independent brokerage, so you're not going to carry different companies. You're just going to sell senior life. So if you decide not to work for senior life, you can always go sell with other companies. But the questions I would ask are, how does vesting work? Uh, if you decide to leave the company, will you continually be paid on your commissions? There are companies out there that will not pay you your commissions on, on future commission payments if you decide to leave um, within a period of time, like several years in many cases. So it's worth asking your manager and reading the contract to see that. And then lastly, how does non-competes work? Are your clients yours? What if you leave? Can you still sell them? Again, important things to ask about. So it's just some advice, just some thoughts I, I wanted to throw out there to help you kind of decide, you know, is Senior Life Insurance Company a good fit for you? Is there something better? And what you should be looking for because the, the kind of commonality in this business is that you as a new agent are ignorant. And I mean that without any disrespect. You just don't know what you don't know. And, and taking the time to kind of figure this stuff out pays dividends and it removes a lot of the problems that a lot of agents face down the line when they do well, but they're kind of handcuffed in position and can't leave because it would cost too much. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out how my agency works, I've got links above and below that will take you to an FAQ page so you can learn more how we do things. If you got comments, suggestions, anything you want, leave them below in the comment box. Be happy to respond back. And do like and subscribe to the video if you haven't already. Guys, thanks for your time. Take care.